Hey everyone, welcome back to the Waterstones vlog. It's Will here again, and this week's vlog comes from another strange location, uh, coming from my living room uh, this week uh, due to unforeseen circumstances. Anyway, I'm here to tell you very quickly about a couple of graphic novels that have grabbed my attention. Both of them are published on the 7th of June. Uh, the first one I want to talk to you about is that masterpiece. It is this one here. It's called Sabrina by Nick Donasso. I have probably not pronounced that correctly, Nick. I, I'm sorry about that. Um, it's got a, a very simple bit of puff quote on the front here from Zadie Smith, a masterpiece, and you have to be very careful when using words like masterpiece, but graphic novels, the first graphic novel I ever read was uh, Jimmy Corrigan by Chris Ware, and it completely blew my mind as to sort of what the possibilities were for a graphic novel or for comics in general, what they could really achieve, and the high literary ambitions of something like Chris Ware's work. This book absolutely fits into that category, and I predict great things for this book. Not only does it share something in common with Chris Ware's work, very simple graphic design to its panels, very little emotion shown on the faces of the characters, um, but it taps into something which is absolutely current right now and is expressed in this book better than I can think of it being expressed in any normal novel that I can think of reading recently. Um, and that is this idea about the impact of social media, of uh, current events, of media, sort of mainstream media, taking over your life um, when, when you become a news story or somebody close to you becomes a news story. Um, Sabrina has gone missing. And uh, the question in this book is what has happened to her? And unfortunately, what has happened to her is, is not good. It's not really so much about her life as about her death, and we will see how it will impact on her sister uh, and on her boyfriend. Her boyfriend goes to live with an old friend of his who's now a, a serviceman. This is all happening in America, by the way. And these two men have these very sort of muted conversations with each other. There is this sort of inability to communicate very clearly about what is happening. Um, and it is all about sort of bits of information being withheld uh, from each other. And then as the impact of a videotape, uh, which contains, um, it contains Sabrina's death. And uh, as that hits the news outlets, we then get all sorts of sort of conspiracy theories about what has happened, who the killer might be. We have this sort of amazing look at the forums on the internet and how people talk and communicate with each other. And most importantly, of course, we see the impact that this has on the main characters that we've met in the course of the book. Um, and as I said, it taps into this thing about when the, the news story, if it affects you, when it just runs away and when the truth of the situation is not really the important thing, let alone the emotional impact uh, of what's happening might be having on somebody. I think that's really, really interesting. And this book deals with it, as I said, in a way that I've never seen before absolutely gets to the heart of the matter and I do think that Nick Donasso is, is something of a genius. Um, if you've enjoyed the work of Chris Ware or Adrian Tomine, people like that, I think you will really appreciate this book. I will hopefully have been able to show you some of the panels as I've been talking to give you an idea of the artwork but it really is an incredible, incredible book um, and I wouldn't be at all surprised to see this on book prize lists uh, through 2018 and into 2019 because it has lofty ambitions and it absolutely delivers on every page. So there we go, Sabrina by Nick Donasso. Can't recommend it highly enough. And uh, also a quick mention for this book here, which is called Apollo. Um, and this is a look at, as you may be able to tell, uh, the Apollo moon landing. Um, it is from Mike Collins, Matt Fitch and Chris Barker. It's published by Self Made Hero. I sorry, sorry, I should have mentioned that um, Sabrina is published by Granta. Um, and this is a look at the Apollo moon landings, the Apollo missions, um, and it almost takes the form of a sort of extended dream in a way, because you, you go from seeing lift off throughout the whole sort of mission and then returning back home again. Um, and through that, there is this almost sort of hallucinatory feeling to it, because we get to sort of see how the various astronauts feel about what's happening. We get these sort of flashbacks to what had happened earlier on in the Apollo program, which of course was beset by worries and troubles and even deaths. Um, we also get to see how it affects the relatives and the loved ones of those astronauts. We see how it's affecting the whole of America. We see how it's affecting uh, Nixon in the White House. Um, it taps into sort of what a, an iconic and definitive moment this was in the American psyche, if you like, the American story of itself. 
Um, and so there is this slightly psychedelic feeling to what is going on. As I said, it has this very hallucinatory dreamlike feel, which I really, really love. So it's the kind of book that absolutely uh, will sort of force you to sit and read it in one go because it's very very easy to flick from page to page the story is compelling of course but also this sort of feeling of one thing merging into another makes it a very sort of lovely I'm doing, I don't know why I don't know what this movement is but it's the best way that I can explain what it's like reading this book um, so obviously for anybody who was a, a sort of astronaut or moon landing nut uh, this would make a great gift uh, or a great read if you happen to be that person um, and there's some really nice again I hopefully I've been able to show you some of the panels from inside the book there's this sort of slightly retro feel to the artwork in there as well which seems entirely fitting for the period um, so yeah I really enjoyed that too so that is Apollo um, by Fitch Baker and Collins um, as I said both those books are out on the 7th of June um, if you are a graphic novel lover I recommend them both um, I will be talking about more graphic novels hopefully in the future, uh, more novels in the future too, but for now that is all. Take care, see you soon.